Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm wrapping up the uh, Horrible Histories blood curdling box of books. So there are a fair few in here, uh, as you can sort of see. So I've been reading these for uh, for a little while, and what I've done is uh, I've finally finished getting to the end of them. Some of them I had already read uh, as a kid, so I didn't need to reread them, so that kind of helped me through. And I've gone through and I've ranked them from worst to best. Let's do worst to best. So I'm not going to say too much about these books. Basically, it's, uh, you know, it's kids' history books, basically. And so as part of that, actually, I do think a little bit of this ranking is also to do with just which historical civilizations I personally find to be the most interesting. Uh, that said, uh, let's go through. Okay, so in at number 20, we have Savage Stone Age. So uh, I'll give you for each of these, I'll give you the little, they have like a want to know. So basically, th this is like a little teaser of what you'll learn inside. So for the Savage Stone Age, we have what Stone Age people used instead of toilet paper, why a hole in the skull is good for headaches, and how to make a Stone Age mummy. In at number 19, we have Gorgeous Georgians. So this one is for if you want to know if you would make a good body snatcher, what the Georgians did with squashed fish eyes, and who wore false eyebrows made from mouse skin. At number 18, we have Storm and Norman. So this is if you want to know why Norman Knight slept with dollies, which pirate hung up his eye patch and became a saint, and why crusader ships were defended with barrels of pee. Number 17, the slimy Stuarts with Guy Fawkes on the front there. So this is for if you want to know why some slimy Stuarts ate toads, snails, and fleas, which king picked his nose and never washed his hands, and why people wore fish on their feet. At 16, we have the Angry Aztecs. So this is for if you want to know why the Aztecs like to eat scum, when the world is going to end, and how to play a really violent ball game. Number 15, the Groovy Greeks. If you want to know why some groovy Greek girls ran about naked pretending to be bears, who had the world's first flushing toilet, and why dedicated doctors tasted their patients' earwax. Number 14, Incredible Incas. So this is for if you want to know why llamas wore earrings and drank beer, how a bucket of stewed pea can make you beautiful, and why servants ate the emperor's hair. Number 13, I think. Smashing Saxons. So this is for if you want to know who got cowpats as Christmas presents, why wearing a pig on your head is lucky, and how to make a dead Saxon happy. Number 12, the balmy British Empire. We were a bit balmy. Sorry for all the colonialism. Uh, this is for if you want to know how a war started when a Brit insisted on sitting on a stool, who wore a necklace made of 50 human schools, and why a Brit soldier used his own coffin as a wardrobe. 11, we have the measly Middle Ages. So this is for if you want to know a genuine jester's joke, why chickens had their bottoms shaved, and what 10-year-old treacle was used for. So this point, we are now at the midpoint, and so as of this point, we are in the top 10, so this is also my favourite half of the books. So in at number 10, we have Awesome Egyptians. So this is for if you want to know which king had the worst blackheads, why some kings had to wear false beards, and why the peasants were revolting. Number 9, the Vile Victorians. There's uh, Queen Vic. Want to know what vile Victorian parents called their children, who had a gruesome glass eye for every occasion, and when the first public loo was flushed. Number eight, we have villainous Victorians. So this is for if you want to know why burglars were scared of bogeys, which poet said he had eight and eight, and how a snick fadger might kidnap your spangle. That was hard. <laughs> Number seven, terrible Judas. So this is for if you want to know why Henry VIII thought he'd married a horse, all about terrible Tudor torture, and which shocking swear words the Tudors used. I'm all about that. Number six, Blitz Brits. So this is for specifically during the Second World War, during the Blitz. Uh, want to know what really happened in Dad's army, how to make a rude noise with a gas mask, and why the Blitz Brits ate chicken fruit, sinkers, and nutty. All right, our top five. Number five, Cutthroat Celts, one from my childhood. Want to know why weird Celtic warriors fought with no clothes on? how to preserve your enemy's brain, and why the Celts laughed at funerals. Number four, Rotten Romans. Want to know how to tell the future with a dead chicken, what Roman soldiers wore under their kilts, and how ancient Britons got their hair nice and spiky. So for our top three. Number three, Frightful First World War. So this is for if you want to know why a pair of old socks gave away top German secrets, why sniffing your own pee could save your life in a gas attack, and what the Fat King did with food scraps and dead horses. So the runner-up. Should be no surprise after that last, last one, because this is the woeful Second World War. So this is if you want to know who made a meal out of maggots, which smelly soldiers were sniffed out by their enemies, and why white knickers could kill you. And finally, in at number one, 
my favourite of the entire series. It's the Vicious Vikings. So this is for if you want to know why some Vicious Vikings had names like Fat Thighs, Oaf and Stinking. How to build a Vicious Viking longboat. And which Vicious Viking god dressed up as a woman. Definitely recommend to start with this one if you're new to the series. That's it, just a short little uh, wrap up slash rundown of my favourite and least favourite books from the Horrible Histories of Blood Curdling box of books. The next box set that I'm doing is my Vintage Mini Moderns box set. I'm about a quarter of the way in or something like that, so probably in the new year. And then I have, I think, 120 or 140 in the Penguin Modern Classics box set. So that could be, that could take a while, but we'll get there. So anyway, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you're a Horrible Histories fan, and if so, let me know which of the books you've read. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.